In years past, Louisiana ran out of a multi running back system. The Cajuns showcased a three headed monster in 2021, but two of them have transferred. Chris Smith may be the last of the trio remaining, but as Megan Glover shows us, the Cajuns are far from being empty handed. In recent years, Louisiana has been known for pounding the pavement as the Cajuns backfield has constantly produced three headed monsters. We've been really fortunate here at running back to have, you know, really a, a stable of guys that could go out there and physically do it. Over the last four seasons, UL has ranked no lower than 40th in the nation in rushing yards per game. With the ground game's proven success, the goal for the 2022 Cajuns is to uphold what it's grown to be. The room is in good shape. You know, maybe there's not the years of success that you've seen because they've been behind some guys, but there's positions across our football team that are like that. What I can tell you is we've got a system of development where those guys have been put in position every day to compete really hard and have to take the pounding and run the ball and do the things necessary to be good at the position. Returning to take charge in the room is junior Chris Smith. He was the leading rusher in 2021 and is on the Doak Walker watch list for best running back in the nation. He's finally getting his chance to be the guy. And with that chance, he, you know, has to embrace it and he is going to embrace it and he's going to show, you know, why he is an elite running back. But with Sunbelt Freshman of the Year Montreal Johnson, along with Imani Bailey joining other programs, they leave behind big cleats to fill. Terrence Williams being the only other returner to get carries last season and Jacob Cabote, the Texas A&M transfer, making his transition back to running back. Michael Orphy, who's going into his fifth year, has taken a back seat, but the team has high expectations. They got he's a sleeper. He came in as a walk on and I think he deserves a chance. He's played special teams for the last couple of years, but this is his chance because he's played behind me. Eli, he's played behind all those guys, so this is his chance to step up and show like Everybody in the staff that he can do the job. He can be trusted behind me. and It don't matter whoever's on the field then. We got some speedsters in the run game. We got some guys that can receive out the backfield. And we also got guys that can just truck guys. So I think we have the best of both worlds in every spot of the run game. And I think they'll be perfectly fine. There's no doubt that in the room of seven, the talent is on the rise. Covering the Cajuns, Megan Glover, KTC Sports.